I'm a little bit scared. Oh no, why? Um, because from now on, like when we do a movie review, mm -hmm. yes, if one of us doesn't like it, there's a high likelihood now we would be trolled by the makers of the film. I don't get. I don't get the reference. Oh, you don't know about this. <laughs> what is this? Um, the official page for Sandeep and Animal has been trolling people who don't like the film. Oh, were we trolled? Not us. Okay. Anupama Chopra, uh -huh. a couple of other people who didn't like it are being trolled by the maker of the film. On his page? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you do you. And, 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 the, and the, <laughs> the proof of it is in, you know, the... the well, it's the, re the replies are box office is the proof it's a good movie. Well, a lot of people in India think that. Yeah. Don't they? <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rick's of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us on official Twitter account. Subscribe and hit that Bukwas button. I wish it was a Bukwas button. It's one of my favorite words to say. One of my favorite Hindi words. Is it? Yeah. Anyway, today we're doing a movie review. And I, I wish I actually had a bunch of pages because I should actually sort it all the words, like whatever the bakwas word is in, in Tamil. Or <laughs> just, so I just use this page uh, for, for, for this video. Anyways, but I don't know the Tamil word for bakwas. <laughs> you do. Bakwas. Put it in bakwas. there. Help, help Corbin out. Somebody Dose. just send him a book of all of the types of popular Indian slang and cuss words in every language. Uh, please. <laughs> Anyways, uh, today we are doing a review of the new 2023 film. Not new, new. It but, came out earlier this yeah, year. Yeah. Um, I didn't hear about it. I think we, we, we were to do the trailer not too long ago. Yeah, um, and liked what we saw. Yeah, and people uh, were, were telling us to go watch it. It came out earlier this year. We didn't, I don't believe it came here. And if it did, I didn't, it didn't register to me. I didn't yeah. get enough people telling me, you need to go watch this. But it's called Chi. Cheetah? Cheetah? Yeah, Cheetah. Cheetah. Yeah, which means uh, uncle. Uh, directed by... S.U. Arun Kumar. Written by him as well. Mm -hmm. uh, produced by Sid Harth, uh, and starring Sid Harth yep. as well. Yep. Uh, and uh, the other person we actually know uh, uh, is um, Namisha. Yeah, Namisha Sa Sajian. We know her from several things, but most especially from yeah, uh, Great, Great Indian, Indian Kitchen. Kitchen. But we've seen her quite a few times. Yeah. Um, are we going to do mostly non-spoiler? I video? say just for folks, because there's there's it's probably a few new. people. Who, it's, it's still, still new. new, and it's it's it you can get it on, on Amazon. Yeah, it just came out on OTT. So um, we're going to do so, yeah, non-spoiler, non and then we will tell you before we get to spoils, um, unlike other reviewers out there. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, Indrani was reading me a review by of uh, Roger Ebert's take on a film we watched last night that I'm going to be recommending. It's a horror film we didn't know about from Ireland. That's actually pretty good. But he did what everybody does. He starts talking about the film. Like, the movie starts off while they're driving down and they get to the house. And then the sun. Be a storyteller if you want to yeah. be a storyteller. You <laughs> Just <sighs> review the film. Stop telling people what's uh, exactly. the film's about. Oh, I don't need to see the movie now. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Rick, your initial non-spoiler thoughts of Chitra. Non-spoiler, the most important thing right out the gate. Is it a see it or is it a skip it? And then telling you what we liked or didn't like. This is a see it for me. I... I there's far, far more to praise in a lot of ways. This this movie, I, what you're going to get when you see this movie is you're going to get an important story that is apparently sadly true. Yeah. And you're going to get a very well told story with very good editing pacing, I think, throughout, especially when you compare the first and second halves. It's just a really good job is done in setting things up and then delivering on things that connect you emotionally to people. Yeah. Good script. Really grounded, organic, natural, thespianatic performances by all of the actors. Yeah. I, I really don't have mm, – the only criticisms I have are the things that actually took place in the events mm. in true history. But as far as it being a good film, I mean, here – wow, we have another one that could have been the submission. 
I think this one's good oh. enough that it could have been part of the conversation Much of more than 2018. Yeah, 2018 sure. shouldn't have even been in the conversation. Yeah. So I, th- they, they, I don't know that this would have been the submission, yeah. but it's good enough that it's, it's it's better than 2018. Someone could talk about it and say, "What about this one?" Um, so I I really liked it. Did the shortlist come out yet? Tomorrow. Uh, what's the date? No, no, no. Uh, Thursday. Okay. Once the again, short list comes out Thursday. Don't even hold your breath at all. Uh, yeah, no. No one's going to be talking. No one has been talking about it. No one will be talking about no, it. It's not going to get nominated in the slightest. Um, yeah, I, 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 I really enjoy it. It's, um, it's a film that hits close to home just because of yeah. one of the ages of my children right now. If you're a parent yeah. or an uncle or an aunt, yeah, a- anybody who's got, even if you don't have kids, if you're just, say, you're, you're a... a a human being yeah <laughs> and care about children yeah yeah it's it's tough it's uh it's 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 one of those but i thought the film overall does uh, there obviously there's a few flaws there's some stuff that i'm sure there was budgetary stuff that they probably would have liked for to be sure better um if they had a bigger budget and stuff like that um, um but those are all minor i right. think um, i agree the i loved the initial setup it took about at least 50 minutes to actually really get going in the film in terms of they they set up the relationships first yeah and they took their time and i liked that because obviously it got you connected to these people yeah um and then it obviously really uh, went into full throttle in the, in, <coughs> in the second half it did it could have um that would be my only it's not even a criticism my only thought mm. because while um i was never looking at my watch it could have been yeah. trimmed to I, this, like a, a Joram runtime. I think it could have been to a, yeah. to a two hour runtime instead of a two twenty. Exactly, it could have been a two hour. However, that being said, the stuff in the first half that sets things up in a way that is slow helps in two ways. It helps with you connecting with the stories of the people involved, so that you care when we get into the conflict. Yeah. It also helps in in terms of the uh, just overall. Um, a mood that's set and keeps you in a place where you think, oh, this is what the mood of the film is going to be, and then it takes a shift. Which, if you've seen the trailer, you would you would yeah, you pick know up exactly on what's going on. Yeah. Um, let's talk about uh, first uh, the performances here. Um, oh, the, I again, non spoilers. Yeah, this is I th- not the first time we've seen him. He was in Jigathanda, but the first one that we didn't see. He was also in Rangda Basanti, but I don't know who he was. He one of the main cast in Rangda Basanti. I don't, I don't remember. It's been so long yeah, since was. I've seen it. He was. Uh, he was a uh, Bhagat Singh. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, uh, and I was, guess that would be the first place we've seen him. But that's a Hindi film. And was so, she in? Was she in Double X? Her? Yeah. No. She's been, Some was someone in the cast in Double X. Um, I don't think so. I think you're thinking of just the name Siddharth, which I believe there's somebody in Double X. But I could be wrong. Okay. Um, but yeah, anyway, no, she's from Grady and Kitchen. Uh, I th- so this is like, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please. If, if this is the first Tamil film, because I believe he's a Tamil actor. It, it, for who? Uh, uh, Siddharth. Oh, I read that it's her Tamil debut. Yeah, it is her debut. Yeah. No, she's Malayala. Right. Malayali, uh, first and foremost. So uh, I believe this is our first Tamil of him. And I thought he did a very good job. He was actually giving me um, a lot of um, uh, Dev Patel. Uh, kind mm. of um, good vibe, comparison. Which I I think he's a he's a good actor. Um, probably the best Indian American actor we have, most well known yeah, in the states for sure. Yeah. Um, but he was he was giving me those vibes. Males. Um, obviously there's much better actual Indian actors, <laughs> I think. But uh, he was he, I thought he brought a lot of good emotion. I I believed his c- connection with um his niece mm-hmm. in the beginning, and I liked the setup that they had. I mm-hmm. thought him and um. Namisha actually had really, really, really good chemistry. I loved, we'll get into this in the spoilers, but the way that their relationship is introduced yeah, yeah, yeah. is very good. Mm. Well written. Subtle. Subtle. They don't actually give a lot away about their backstory. No, and it and it makes you want to know. Yeah. It's the it's wonderful. Right from the get-go. Yeah. Their performances in the writing are so good that as you watch it, your first thought is. Wow, what's going on? I want to know what's going on. You're yeah, immediately yeah. engaged, and they don't even—they don't really even answer all the questions. No, um, it's uh, it's super. I I always prefer writing. Obviously, you want to make sure people know what's going on, and sure, it's a fine line. Um, but 
I always like leaving the audience with more questions, um, answering what you need to, obviously, but leaving people with like, I want to know more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, but their chemistry together was was wonderful, very good. Obviously, we are very much more familiar with her, um, and she's a, still a brilliant actress. She has multiple moments in this that you're like, that's that takes a good actor. To, yeah, uh, to, absolutely. To do what you're doing, and right as now. well as him, because um, it's. This, these roles for both of them are the kind of roles that an inexperienced actor is going to indicate. Yeah. And they don't do that at any time. Every, everything they do, I, I believed they were these people experiencing these moments, nothing performative, nothing in, 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 no indicating, yeah. and really grounded. The other ones, big shout outs to the kids. Yeah. Um, I thought because these are difficult roles. We'll get into spoilers in a second, but these are not easy roles, especially especially for um, I, uh, um, Sahasra Shri, the one who played Puni, who plays uh, Sundari, uh, his Sundari. niece. Oh, okay. I mean, the, uh, uh, Afia Tasneem, who plays Puni, does a great job as well. They both do exemplary jobs, but the one that is more uh, unforgiving story wise and direction cinematography wise is is the role of Sundari and I thought both it's critical that both of these girls oh, yeah. are believable because if they're not believable you get disconnected from yeah, yeah. Th and they are this they're central to the story I, I thought they did a very good job especially for for kids I don't like critiquing kids a lot there's stuff I I could critique about them but I don't I'm not going to they're they're children I thought they did it for what they needed to do a very very good job yeah the, the, <laughs> this when is I like, see this is a role that like if you cast an adult it'd be a Tough role. Tough role. And, and when I see a, a when I see an a child actor who isn't any good, that's on casting and the director. Yeah, it's not on the kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, but I thought they did a, a very good job. There's very believable in a lot of moments. I thought the um, antagonists, um, I thought was actually quite good. I I, I enjoyed um, them. I guess. Um, I also it, love the score. Yeah, the score was, was really nice, really reminiscent of actually. I felt old school Tamil. Um, the I feel like Tamil loves this, the flute, uh, with with love. Mm -hmm. like, like, they love using. Mm -hmm. I think maybe comes from uh, Raja sir. You guys could tell me if it's it's not. No, just what I, it is. It is a pr yeah. That's what I used I, a lot. As are the strings in this reminded me of the guys. Um, I always forget their names. Who came here? Oh yeah, yeah, Ajay and Atul. Yes, it was very reminiscent of, and which is a high compliment. Yeah, yeah. Very reminiscent of the way that they score things, yeah. especially the violins. Um, to end off this uh, non-spoiler before we get into the spoils, uh, I would definitely go see it. Um, yeah, if it's on Amazon. Just know that, um, especially if you're a parent, even if you're not a parent, obviously this is this is a tough subject. But I thought they handled it delicately as well. They did, and. I thought this is something that's good to know when you go in to watch it because it is a really difficult subject. Um, and it really isn't something you should watch with little ones, primarily because they'll have questions you want to be honest and answer, and they may not be ready to understand this part of the world yet. Yeah. Um, but I thought they did a really admirable job that felt that the motivation was artistic in terms of what they did or didn't show because there's a lot they don't show. Yeah. But there's power in that. It's the Hitchcockian school of sometimes it's scarier to not see than it is to see. And I know that also helped them with their getting the universal certification. Yeah. But I didn't feel like they did it for the certification. I felt like they did it for the storytelling. Yeah, yeah. And it was good. Yeah, I, I agree. Because um, they could have shown us some really awful stuff. Yeah, I was I was waiting for – and they and you don't really need to – I mean sometimes I, I feel like to, to really hit it home on certain subjects, I do – like that in certain instances it's a fine line it's a, it's a very fine some because you sometimes you're like that's i get what you're trying to do but that's too much it's too much you could lose your a, audience for a movie you could trigger people who've been through similar situations but sometimes it's not enough because i'm like the right. gravity of this thing that you're trying to tell yes it, you just need to hit it and i thought they did hit it home um agree because it's 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 just a disgusting subject matter yeah. um it's it's really really gross um, and especially if you're a parent, um, like I said, you don't need to be a parent, but if you are a parent, especially of young kids currently, just cause like, it's easy to just put yourself in that situation. Yeah. And I understood 
because there's stuff that that goes on. We'll talk about in spoilers that I understood both. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, like yeah, I understood Completely. everybody's point of view. I really did, and that's good writing. Um, <laughs> you know, as a as a father, but also I just you 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 get it from all sides. Um, and and I appreciate yeah, it. I can't wait to talk about this more um, in the spoiled but, section. Yeah, I would definitely say go go watch it. It's 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 a worthy watch. One of the better ones of the year. And yes, it's it does carry importance. Um, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Um, it's it'd be it's this year's dummies is going to be tough. Um, because there's. Been quite actually of a few really really good films. I, yeah, I not just like films but performances. Yeah, exactly. I, so, I, I don't. It'll be interesting to see where those <laughs> land for d- that. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, go watch it. If you haven't seen it, please leave. We're going to talk about spoils now. Spoils um, time. And there's a lot of spoilers in this, so um, please go watch it and then come back after you've seen it. Yes. So yeah, the um, at the end, um, I I understood, you know. Him obviously, I understood his his wanting for his rage. Yes, because that would be oh, that stress. would be my initial reaction is I'm going to murder this man and make him eat his own dick. Right, like I'm I'm gonna make him suffer the worst thing on this planet. Right, that's that's my initial thought uh, as a as a as a father who's just. <laughs> That's like I think any pr- sane, protect, right? Any sane person that would be their thought to be but consumed with rage. Yes, you also understand the other side of like, okay, if you do that, you're right. probably going to jail. You will not be there for your niece anymore. Correct. You're, and obviously, it's still murder. Right? Is it just? I think so, but in the eyes of the law, probably not. You know, right. that's, that's <laughs> it's not your place. And so, I thought the writing of it was very good in terms of making you understand. Her, her scene when she was finally explaining it, and Steph called it early on. She That's was like, the scene. This has happened to her in the ah. past. She call, Steph called that way early in the film. Mm. Um, <laughs> she's incredibly well, she's smarter she, than she's us. She's very, very, very smart. <laughs> uh, uh, and so when it came, she was like, told you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah. I didn't. I, did you see that? Because I didn't. I saw it because she, she said it. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When it came up, my, my thought was, okay, wow. That. That explains a huge uh, – in the opening, when you see the interactions and you're wondering what's going on, and she slaps him. Mm-hmm. And she has a very visceral response. She's shocked she slapped him. And it really makes you ponder, wow, what did – your thought is, what did he do to her mm-hmm. at some point? Yeah, they really don't give it up. No, and it doesn't have anything to do with what he did to her specifically. It has to do with what he didn't do. And how that created a situation that put her where she was. I thought that was brilliant. Yeah, so did I. And I thought the the, the writing that I just talked about was good. Also, the writing of them thinking it was him. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, is this where we're going with this film? Is he going to be false? Or they also didn't give it up right away. Did he actually do something? Yeah. And you're like, no, there's no way he did it. No. No, because we were watching. But then they put it in your mind. They're like, why did he leave her? So, yeah, when he said, I don't know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, yeah, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> obviously, very different cultures. Obviously, here would never, ever leave our kids or let them go right. to rickshaws as, as eight years old. Of course, obviously, of very different cultures. I get it. <laughs> so it's sometimes hard to wrap your mind. Why are you letting that little girl on a rickshaw by herself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my immediate, really, my immediate reaction. But it was that way. It, it was different when I was a kid. Yeah, I know. I know. It was different you know, when I was a kid. Yeah, I I used to I used to walk alone sometimes and be out after dark. And I'm talking when I'm 10, 11 years old. I walked home from school uh, in third grade, so I was yeah. in what ten, ten maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah, alone. <laughs> There's no way I can ever so, imagine a ten year old Leland no, <laughs> being able to go anywhere by himself. Not even my kids were allowed to go do <laughs> uh, that. Obviously, Los Angeles is a different city than where I grew up in San Antonio. Um, but even still, I don't even, even still. know if I would like to let him do yeah. it in San Antonio. The, the line for me that was really powerful that I wrote it down is in that scene where she's telling him what happened to her when they were in, mm-hmm. in, in 12th. Yeah. And his first response to her is, where is he? Where is he? Yeah. And then she says, not a word on how I recovered. Yep. That it hits that you right in the face. Yeah. Hits you right in the face <laughs> and speaks to. One of the the problems that that happens, and not just it's not just in it's all society, is this, and we could talk a long time about this, this sense of justified retaliation mm-hmm. being first and foremost because you have this genuine, 
understandable sense of that is a, a wrong I'm going to make right mm -hmm. versus looking at the larger picture. Mm -hmm. And it is a very uh, – it's a weirdly selfish motivation because mm -hmm. it's gratifying to him to do that mm -hmm. in what seems to be a selfless way. Mm -hmm. It's you were hurt by him. I'm going to go get him. But in the woman's mind, who's uh, far more maternal, yeah. uh, is, wow, that's your first thought. Yeah, obviously men's brains are different. So our initial reaction is to protect and or fix. How can I fix this? And, and how fight. can I protect you? Yes. Kill him. And fight. <laughs> too often, too often my response is to attack Yeah. rather than understand. Yeah. Um, it's it's just uh, men are wired differently. Um, and I'm not saying it's all bad that way. Obviously, there's, there's very good things that uh, it's very, very good things yes. that come with it. But obviously, it can get in trouble. Double-edged sword. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, stuff like that. I, but at the end... What do you think happened? Well, that's is that what really happened in in real life with the I, uncle? Did he get away with the murders? I don't know. I don't know. I hope because so. the way it was conveyed, it's like at the very end, it's like he got away with it. Booyah! Yeah, that's how it felt at the end. Yeah, and I don't. I, on the one hand, you're like damn straight, but on the other hand, whew, and they did a really good job of being subtle in showing you. One of the reasons that people want to take the, the justice into their own hands isn't just because of the rage they feel. It's because of their belief, and it's it's justifiable that the system is not going to do it the right way, yeah. that the system may even let them get off. Yeah. But I love the fact that he was going after the wrong guy. Yeah. But then he found out he was kind of the right guy. Yeah, yeah. Because this guy still he, was a pedophile. killed him. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the, I didn't know what exactly happened at the end because— they led it to believe. I didn't know if he had went to jail because at the, when, after it said one year later. Yeah. It looked like she came in and he's like, uncle. Like she hadn't seen, Maybe him, hadn't in seen him in a while. So I didn't know if he went to jail because obviously India has a very different – because if somebody went to jail for murder here, even if it was justified. Yeah, even if it was manslaughter. It would be a long time. Yeah. But he, I know other countries, India, we've seen it in films, people murder, but they're only in jail for like a year. So I don't, I don't know. The, uh, unless I don't know how they rule. You know, we have just crimes of passion. Yeah, yeah. yeah, crimes of passion are are often here forgiven. So I didn't, I didn't know if like that's why she reacted that right. way because he had gone to jail for that murder. Right. Um. And then obviously you get the initial. He did he do it in the end? They didn't right. tell you, which I like that they didn't say it. Yeah. But it was like it was like a you're welcome. This man is dead, and he got what he deserved. And I thought the—I uh, uh, don't think I wrote his name down—but the actor who plays the the pedophile who yeah, yeah. who has that really painful, uncomfortable scene, yeah, yeah. bathing her, telling yeah, yeah, telling her the snakes are in the bag, and uh, just he—he he did. I believe I believed him. You you do a good job as an actor if we believe you're a pedophile. Yeah, that's a uh, difficult. Really hard thing to it's do. It's not going to be a role you're going to be typically praised for in terms of like and um, audience, like like especially uh, in India of like the hero because <laughs> you're the pedophile. No, but, and uh, I tell a very I, good job, and that's a headspace as an actor. I would want to leave as fast as I possibly could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'd be a that'd be a difficult one. Um, anything else uh, you wanted to talk about? No, uh, he's mentioned score. I just thought all in all, it was a it's it's definitely one that I would. It's not one of those that I absolutely adore and am mad it wouldn't be part of the submission. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it is one of the best of the year, and it is something I think people would – you know, if someone said, should I watch this? I'd say, oh, absolutely. You're going to – if you want to see really just grounded, good acting, storytelling, a beautiful score, and an important story, you, this is this is definitely something you want to watch. Absolutely. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, let us know why um, and what should be our next – Tamil. Yeah, and uh, Sid Hearth. Uh, Sid Hearth. Because uh, he was wonderful. Uh, Namisha as well. Yep. Um, please let us know what that should be down below. Yeah.